Hello, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is your girl Tingham, and I'm back with another reading. Yeah, yes, I know I, you have been guys waiting for a long time. So, today reading is pick a deck, and topic is who is in love with you, who really loves you, who has feelings for you, truly feelings for you who is that person maybe you know it maybe you don't know it maybe this is secret and murder maybe this person is keeping it secret maybe your ex maybe your next you know who knows who is in love with you okay so what this person has to say to you what this person are intentions towards you what this person will if this person will make a move or not we will check it out okay i will also use the charms yes because you guys love it so why not okay so keep in mind this is a general reading as i always say um, but still people don't understand it okay but i have to say it because this is my responsibility um that it's impossible to resonate with um thousands of people's uh, story is the same it's not but if it does please give the thumbs up and subscribe my channel i really appreciate and grateful and blessed uh, by uh, the people who are really supporting my channel my work and i will keep growing up with these peoples okay so yeah uh, you can see that there's a four decks in front of you so choose your own deck that is calling you please uh, choose intuitively meditate pause the video and choose intuitively okay this is deck number one this is everyday witch tarot deck this is too um this is like mystic myth i don't know what this is yeah we have the spiral tarot deck and with this is a romantic tarot deck okay choose intuitively i will see you in on your reading so let's start reading guys come on hello deck number one the people who choose this everyday witch tarot deck let's find out who is in love with you First, let's see who is this person. Then I will check up this person energies, feelings towards you. And then I will see the action. Their move towards you. Let's see. I will also pick up intuitively. This will definitely resonate with some of you. I feel I'm seeing the person, maybe this person lives around beaches. Or um, wherever this person lives in the city. Or maybe some type of, you know yeah there is some type of um place there there is a water here a lot of water maybe ocean maybe a lake maybe a river there's something around the water here or maybe this person is a water sign who knows uh, so this is that person energy right now bottom of the deck we have six of cups so this is someone okay what do we have here we have the empress reverse we have four of cups reverse we have four of wands reverse Ooh la la <laughs> i got it we have the hierophant so taurus energy is very strong here taurus libra fire energy Aries, leo sagittarius um, we also have water energy bottom of the deck six of cups you know this person this is your uh, past I, I i almost said soulmate so yeah we have the empress maybe you are divine feminine of this person um maybe this is your soulmate you are in separation with right now but this is the person that you know already six of cups pisces can describe you there was something happened between you and this person in the past that there was a wrong timing for some of you you know this person this is your ex-husband or ex-wife if you're a male watching this video so we have four of wands you married with this person the empress you know uh, this is your ex-wife or you can say that your ex-husband you have kids with this person with a six of cups okay and then you got separated because we also have the hierophant this is a marriage card here yeah some of you you married with this person six of cups you have children with this person this is your ex-husband ex-wife or you can say ex past lover as i was talking about already so wow we have the king of swords so yeah the person was really dominant or you can say that very detached emotionally gemini libra aquarius um this person for some of you i feel this person was honest with you like yeah this person was honest but at some point then suddenly something happened like this person was not there they cheated on you maybe or they just lied to you or there was something like this person got detached or you feel like it's not working between us you know it's over i feel i feel here the attraction was very strong at the beginning in your relationship in your marriage and then 
it's vanished everything the love just was not there so whoever this person is you have a child with you have children with you got pregnant with this person this person got you pregnant maybe or maybe they don't, did not accept the child some of you you may be a single mom a dad watching this video because of this person and this person is in love with you four of wands some of you some of you you saw this person with a four of wands and the her some of you you planned the marriage with this person like this person promised you to get married but they just did not ready you know so you got separated from this person some of you you definitely saw this person as a marriage material you plan to get married you want to be with this person maybe this person's mother was not you know was was um, in the way like she saying no you can't marry with this lady if you are going through some traditional families you know things here four of cups you are here this person is definitely ready for new beginning with you or want a new beginning with you with another new chance this person is effed up okay definitely they know that they messed up look at this they know that what they did whoever this person is six of cups now they are feeling it this love because it's the bottom of the deck king of swords but this person is showing you like they're not interested they're you see this person always detached cold but this person has this love for you six of cups this person is being nostalgic whoever this person is in love with you they are being nostalgic right now so yeah this is that person is in love with you now let's see if this person will make a move towards you what is this person feeling and what are their feelings and if they will make a move towards you or not let's see and then I will go towards your charms. Let's see. Three of Wands. We have the Temperance and the Death. Two major arcana already. So maybe this person is Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp. Or you are maybe. So we have the Emperor. Yes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Seven of Pentacles. So this person is waiting for the right time. Yeah. It's, it's, this person has a faith three of wands seven of pentacles this person has a faith like you will be together maybe a fire sign sagittarius here especially aries maybe leo we have sagittarius we have scorpio maybe you're a couple of that we have emperor aries energy interesting thing here we have the empress you know reverse here and it's here the emperor so maybe you are divine masculine or divine feminine i'm not saying that you are gen it's not a gender specific it's not a question here not on my channel so you can be anyone dealing with anyone, okay, male, female, he, she, or bio, anyone. This this channel is open for everything, for anyone. So yeah, we have the emperor and the empress reverse here. So divine masculine and feminine energy here, okay. So I feel this person is your divine masculine. You may be twin flames because we have the four of wands, right, reverse here. So you thought about this person as your twin flame, but this person was a runner or chaser. You can't be together for some reasons. So that's what I'm picking up here. Let me see this person's feelings from this emotions card here about you right now. What's going on with this person? Then I will tell you. This person is waiting for the right time to make a move here. We have stressed. We have vulnerable. Yes. It's really hard for this person to be with you. We have worried. One more. This person may be sick, love sick. You can say that, you know, for you, if this is your twin flame or you have children with this person or you're separated. This is, I feel here, this person messed up. They missed the opportunity with you, what I'm picking up here. This person knows what they, what they lost with you, okay? Let's see. Desperate, yeah. So I definitely feel here, this person's feelings for you here is stressed right now, as I told. And you can see this person's energy right now. This is uh, screaming and speaking up the, the picture. Like this person is saying what I did. You know, I know I wrong. But we have stressed. So this person is definitely stressed about this connection. Pressure. Uh, this person did, uh, you know, separated with you you know in under pressure of something like could be their family could be another people's involvement between you and this person maybe we are vulnerable now this person as i told you already like six of cups was bottom of the deck this person is feeling this love now nostalgia being nostalgic 
uh, you know, being in love with you, temperance, being patience, uh, and want to be with you, want to reconcile with you after this separation, death. It's over, I know, it's separation, it's, a, it's, a, it's over, it's done. This is someone your ex, this is someone that you got maybe divorced with because this is your ex-husband or ex-wife. This maybe this is your ex, totally separation, death, no talk, no communication. You don't have a communicate with this person for a long time. This could be one year, approximately two years, the person, or maybe more than one or two years that you are not talking, no communication. We are worried. This person is, or maybe, as I told you, like the feminine here, you have been worried for a long time. Maybe you have a child with this person, and you were the only one taking responsibility, and you were the here, you know, being worried what will happen of our future and our, the future of your child and everything, because you have been responsible for this. Because you were, uh, sorry, you were um, taking responsibility of uh, everything, of yourself and your child, and you were worried about this. Desperate. Now, this person really want to desperate, want to be with you. And stressed how to do that, you know. So this person don't know what will happen. We have the emperor. This is a masculine energy. You are definitely divine counterpart. Your divine counterpart. Or you see each other as your divine counterparts, what I'm picking up here, okay? So the next move, obviously, be three of wands and seven of pentacles. I don't see this person is making very soon move here because we have three of wands, really positive, maybe a foreigner, far from you, long distance. Seven of pentacles, this person has a faith that universe will bring you guys together. Our universe will give you opportunity or God will give you opportunity that one day you will be together. This person is putting on the universe. Look at this, how this person is praying, temperance, believing and f having faith on universe. Death, it's over, it detached, but the emperor and the emperor, you're not, you're definitely in separation. But this person believe that you will be together. This person desperately want to be with you, what I'm picking up here. Okay? Now let's see from the charms. Oh, wow. We have number four. So four is... Maybe four house. Okay, four. Maybe this person has, you know, life path number four. Anything resemble with the four, okay? You know better. We have work, work, work. So some of you, this person was all about work, not serious, or, you know, they choose work on that time or their business or something like that. We have number E. Yeah, we also have the money here, the coin here, and work, work, work. So yeah, this person was maybe financially not sportive of you, or maybe you financially support this person, you know, so yeah, we have the pizza here. So anything with the pizza here. Memories, maybe. We have the crab here. Cancer. So I told you, living, uh, you know, around water. The rings. So yeah, you got engaged or married with this person. Yes, this is what you, you have been in committed relationship with this person. You got married. You were, this is your ex-husband. Or ex-wife or the partner that you wanted to get married with. But now maybe this person is ready. If they were not in the past we have this mic so maybe this person this person will speak up this person will propose you maybe on a mic or maybe you have this memory that this person uh, you know propose you as a singing or on a mic or musician send you a song or sing a song for you because something is a mic so maybe this person is a singer a love to singing something like that as an activity we have love yeah there is a love this is definitely a twin flame connection here I feel here because we have four of wands but you guys are in separation we have, I love you. Yeah, this person loves you. Dearly love you. This person is only love you. I also feel like that. We have the two hearts here. Look at this, the two sides of the hearts. So yeah, this is what you are to each other. This person feel this way. So let's see. We have K, E, K, or K, E, maybe something like that. We have Gucci. Okay, so something related with the Gucci. This is in, I need you to fix me. Yeah, look at this. I told you. This person loves you. We have this aeroplane, so maybe this person, I told you, far from you, or maybe there's some memories that you've gone, gone on to trip with each other. You have these memories together, and this person missing it. You have to fly, you know, to see this person, or this person has to fly to see you, or there's some memories here with the aeroplane or something, you know. Maybe this person, you know, said to you when you were traveling, I love you, or something. This person, you know, the Gucci, maybe there's some bags here, or maybe some gifts here that this person give you as a Gucci or something like that. Are you met on a Gucci store or something? We have the fly here. 
so this person is flying high this person definitely see you or maybe a pilot you know or maybe air hostess you are at this person something like that you know but yeah this is like committed relationship this person is only committed to you this person loves you that's what we are asking who is in love with you right so this is that person so i really hope it resonated give the thumbs up subscribe my channel i will see you in the next video bye guys hello group number two deck number two the people who choose this deck let's see if i'm not wrong it's mystic Mendes, right yeah i just forget the deck's names so let's see who is in love with you the people who choose deck number two who is in love with the group number two deck number two let's see please i will just uh, ask first who is this person so we will know who is this person or what type of connection you are having with this person let's see if you know this person or not let's see who is in love with you who is this person love in the deck number two group number two okay there's something so let's see okay 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 this is i want to take it because it came up okay let's see who is this person okay okay hmm <laughs> okay bottom of the deck the emperor yes the daddy the daddy and the empress i will see it why everyone is getting the empress and the emperor you already hit the jackpot here so this is your divine masculine or divine feminine this is maybe your twin maybe your soulmate um you see yes you see each other you see at each other as like yin and yang type of energy like this is the one this is the one for me and this is the one for me so uh, emperor and the empress i mean there's nothing to have have to say anything here anymore period so we have this uh, empress taurus or libra maybe emperor aries or taurus taurus is very strong here uh, we have leo maybe leo venus um yeah, maybe Venus on Leo, Venus in Aries or Taurus maybe, that you're dealing with someone, or maybe Venus in Capricorn. We also have the Devil Capricorn energy here. We have Water energy, we have Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So whoever this person is, we have the Emperor and the Empress. You both are addictive and obsessed with each other. Or you may be in this connection that you can't let go of each other. You can't. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, this person has heart, you know, throat chakra is really closed. So I have to drink the water. Wait for a moment. Okay, I'm ready. So yeah, um, this person, we have the emperor and the empress. This person sees you as the one and you see this person as the one. Very idealizing. Like you both are really seeing each other like this is my ideal and this person sees you as their ideal. Some of you, maybe you, you got married with this person. Or maybe this is a connection that there was a sex was really high. Sexual drive. The sex was like a heaven for both of you. Like sexual connection for both of you. Uh, and this was not, you know, a rooted in reality. Like something solid. Something you can say that you were committed to each other. No. There was no commitment, there was no marriage, there was nothing, but only maybe a sexual connection and sex was heaven between you and this person. Or maybe right now, but I still feel here five of swords were reverse here. This person maybe, yeah, this ego and pride to tell you that how this person feel. For some of you, this is not like you never have sex with this person, but this is addiction, obsession. Uh, you feel this person is your twin flame, but there's nothing in, in reality. This is like all up in the air. And you don't know if this person really likes you or not. You're really confused about this connection. Seven of Cups reverse here. This person only fixated on you because Seven of Cups talk about like doing other stuff, busy here and there, maybe, you know, options or something like that. It's reverse here. Seven of Cups reverse here. I feel that now this person is really seeing the reality of this connection. This person is really addictive and obsessed with you, the devil. Uh, and the Empress here talking about you know this person sees you as like you have ethereal beauty yeah you are the one in this person's life you're like you're, this person sees you as like oh my god 
you know this person maybe want to do sex with you if if they never did six of wands victory success so maybe this person in a public eye popular on social media or somehow a lot of followers a lot of people a lot of choices but this person is you know six of wands and seven of cups towards you so this person just fix on you even though they have a choice with people just coming towards them just throwing a you know to up up to them even though if you are empress or you are emperor you have a lot of options you both have a lot of options and choices but you can do and you can date anyone you can be with anyone but you still are fixated on each other you still have you know you're saying that this person has my heart and this person says like you have my heart you understand me so this is that type of connection six of wands um uh, this person give you this um happiness this success. you feel very happy when you see this person uh, this person has a really good smile this person has really good features very attractive body if if this is a male this is really handsome person very good looking lot of options lot of people i told you like so popular on social media maybe this person on youtube or vlogging blogging or something like that this person has some type of actor maybe a singer musician so maybe this person uh, definitely with the empress present here this person in art creative there's something you feel like this person is a art you know or this person sees you as a art it's a source so communication is coming you have maybe conflict with this person or for some of you you have a fight or conflict with this person because you have this sexual connection with this person very attraction very sexual based very like 100% not you know let go of each other you can't can't resist each other when you are together but uh, and maybe you wanted something more with this person so maybe you moved on or maybe you stopped talking you have a conflict with this person uh, for others of you this is um, never happened like this person never tell you that how this person feels five of swords towards and seven of cups towards it was always on the up up in the air and seven of cups and five of swords conflict and conflict and you will always confusing and dreaming about each other and maybe you were doing that or this person Six of Wands. This person is coming very soon with the Ace of Swords. Want to communicate with you? Want to talk to me with you? I also feel like, even though it's not here, but I feel um, maybe this person is spying on you on social media. You know. So let's see about this person feelings from this emotions card here. What is this person feelings for you? What does this person feel for you? So this is that person energy. Whoever this person is in love with you, I feel you know this person already. But you think like it's it's never gonna happen because it's never gonna happen in reality. You feel like you are incompatible, or maybe it's it's just your dream. There's something like because or if you're already with this person, you feel like no, we, I don't see this person will ever commit to me or something like that. Powerless, yes, the first card here. Yeah, this is a powerless. So maybe this person has some type of work or some type of. Um, you know restrictions or blockage that they can't be with you they're feeling powerless they can't make a move they can't be with you but oh I told you Leo energy here confident so this person is really confident this person is confident uh, maybe whenever they do anything because the Emperor is confident person you know very bossy a boss maybe you know or maybe your boss at your workplace you know, and maybe you have a secret affair with this person, your boss. I'm sorry, but I have to say it. Some of you, I'm not judging you. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, you know, put, you know, telling you the as much as possible stories here, so you can get it. Because I'm picking up here. I have to say it. I have to say it. Obviously, there is someone definitely. This will resonate with someone. So the emperor and the confident. This person is a boss in front. Maybe your your own boss, your workplace. Uh, for some of you this is your teacher and you feel, there's something that is a blockage you feel like this this is like restrictions here with the devil and powerless you feel like what society will think what other people think this could be religions this could be cultures this could be um taboo type of connection you know for people for society but not for you i feel that you both are worried for other people rather than about yourself confident this person is confident in front of other people in front of the world but with you this person feel powerless about this connection, this person feel powerless. So maybe this is, I told you, divine masculine and feminine here. So maybe this is twin flame. Confident. So this person is Leo. This person is really confident in everything. But with you, this person feel powerless. Creative. So yeah, I told you this person is in a creative field. Or maybe you are. You both are in creative fields, maybe. You know, maybe you both are musicians. Maybe you both are singers, dancers. Anything. Acting. I don't know. Anything. Yes. So this card is here. I, I just used to say that, yes. So 
if you if you're asking the question if you know that i uh, who is this person and if you are asking that this person loves you because you have been on the shit with this person because you feel this person don't love you this person has don't feelings for you you are the only one crazy here you know making the stories here dreams about this person are making you feel like it's a fantasy you know and you feel like you're just trapped here in your head you know just trapped in your head it's not you both are feeling in the same way let me tell you if you're feeling in this way this person is also feeling in the same way because i feel that you're mirroring each other you are yin and yang divine masculine and feminine yes so this person loves you as you love this person this person really want to do something with you creative they're feeling very creative confident but at the same time powerless but because they can't make a move i want to get one more feelings emotions of this person because i know this pile needs something more here about this person feelings because i feel this person is not expressive yeah we have vulnerable yeah this person loves you this person has this uh, maybe fear of being vulnerable you know there's something that this person feel this fear and powerless it's something or maybe they're too sensitive maybe this is like they're too feminine or they're too masculine you know that they can't you know yeah i i feel here there's something that um let's see the next move of this person we have the high priestess pisces yeah this person is silent oh my god this person is not speaking up this is a spiritual connection also with the presence of high priestess maybe pisces um we have the moon reverse here oh my god look at this all major arcana in your reading so there's definitely something major here you have spiritual connection with this person this is more likely 5d activity i would say rather than 3d and people will say what is 5d 5d is in your conscious and subconscious mind i would say subconscious mind or the things that you feel it's crazy you know you're telepathically feeling someone in your energy but in reality 3d is practical in reality something happening in reality you're dealing with this person you're talking with this person you're living you're talking every day so let's see we have the chariot so i feel this person will make a move it's only the matter of time three of cups reunion reconciliation or maybe this is your friend zone person maybe your friends but you were definitely have a sexual connection with each other i don't know as i told you like taboo taboo type of something for some some of you people okay so the high priestess spiritual connection the moon reverse here so maybe pisces moon that you're connecting with or maybe capricorn moon aries taurus moon or taurus moon that you're connecting with i feel that your moons are connect, uh, conjuncting with each other pisces is ruled by neptune and we have the moon here there's some type of moon conjunctions or moon or neptune conjunctions is here that's why you can't let go of each other you you continuously think about each other you telepathically feel each other this is more spiritual this is more strong uh this is like you can't describe in the words i would say we have chariot cancer energy so maybe pisces and cancer you are a couple um we also have capricorn i i don't want to repeat this again i know so the chariot this person will make a move it's a matter of a time they have to figure it out they're also going crazy like you are going crazy so let's see there's a lot here so yeah look at this the heart image this person has eyes only for you again uh, we have fishes here pisces this is a new beginning this is also blessing so maybe this person has a lot of money already wealthy person maybe a boss i i told you like a money maybe business entrepreneur or maybe you both are uh, so yeah this person will speak up the moon and star yes this is a soulmate connection here uh, i need you to fix me yeah this person really want you back we have o we have e Mm, let's see what is this here from this tarot we have three of cups again so yeah maybe right now is a third party situation three of cups also talk about friend zone as i told already or maybe this is reconciliation between you and this person crazy yeah oh my god this is a crazy group here i'm telling you crazy group this is crazy you're not crazy you both are crazy maybe yeah i uh, need more space yeah this person need to time to figure it out because this person is feeling like this is crazy shit I never felt it unicorn yeah this is spiritual this is divine plan here or maybe this person always call you a you know unicorn i told you this is like a fantasy a dream for you we have i will be there for you this person will be there for you we have this um leaf here so take the leap of faith that talking about we have you're safe with me so you feel the safe with this person you feel this is the one there's something that is tying you together and that is spiritual you will be together it's only the matter of a time i feel here this person will be back you are the moon and star the couple of like a moon and star 
always together, you know, compatible for each other because you're divine masculine and feminine, yin and yang, okay, I would say. So, yes. So, this is your reading. Give the thumbs up. Subscribe my channel. Let me know in the comments. I will see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you all. Hello, deck number three, group number three. The people who choose this spiral deck, let's see who is in love with you. Who is that person is in love with you? So let's find out. First, I will see and check out who is this person or what type of connection you are having with this person. You know this person or not. Obviously, you know that or some type of interaction you have. Let's see. Who is in love with the group number three? Deck number three. Who is this person is in love with group number three? So we have Princess of Wands, we have Temperance, so we have a Fire, Pisces, I would say Pisces because we have Water too. So Sagittarius is very specially here, maybe Aries, maybe Leo, we have Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm seeing fi Fire and Water combination here somehow. So Five of Pentacles, Earth Energy Reverse here. Let's see, Nine of Pentacles. The magician. Let's see who is this person. And we have nine of swords reverse here. And we have the justice reverse. Okay. So this is the person that you you wish to be with this person. Let me tell you. This person is like nine of cups, your wish. You wish to be with this person. You really feel like this is the one. This is your dream come true type of person. You really wanted to be with this person. And you're not happy because you're not with this person. And this person is also feeling the same way. I feel that you're in separation. There's no communication here. Nine of Swords reverse here. This person um, was single and still single. This person is not dealing with someone. Or maybe they maybe they are single father or mother that you are asking about, okay? They're in, maybe they're going through some separation here. Maybe this person has a one child um, or maybe two. Maybe you both have a child, but you're single parents like dad and mom. OK, so in, in any case, for others of you, maybe if you're if you're single and you, you don't know anyone like married or someone like, you know, have a ch child or with something like that. So this is that person who you are attractive with. You have maybe some crush on, maybe you, you, you definitely interacted with this person, you talked to this person, you really wanted to be with this person, but this person was not reciprocative. They did not give you what you're looking for. This, you felt this person, you felt with this person unrequited love, five of pentacles. You felt like uh, this person is not interested in me. So nine of cups, but, the, but with the heavy heart, you moved on from this person. Or you tried to move on, I would say. And maybe you're still trying to move on from this person because this person is your wish. You really want to be with this person. Nine of Swords reverse here. You're trying to release this person. You're really working hard, but still, ha at, I feel that your heart is still connected with this person. So whoever this person is in love with you, you have this some ungen... Uh, sorry. Justice Libra. I have to see, see the signs here first. Libra, especially here. We have Sagittarius. We have Aries. We have Gemini and Virgo. We also have Taurus. We have Aries. Yeah, Aries. Uh, maybe you both are Aries. Um, so we have fire. We have water. We have air. You know, we have earth energy, not fo not water. Yes, water is here. Okay, sorry. Um, justice, Libra. So reverse here. There was no balance between you and this person. It's not equal give and take. Let me tell you like that. Or this person was too much focused on their money or finances and they just rejected you because they were not ready at that time. Now, when you're not there or you're not talking to this person, this person is feeling attractive to you or want to come toward you. But Knight of Pentacles coming very slow, thinking about it, planning about it. Maybe a Virgo. They're very calculative, you know, planning every plan here. The Magician, Virgo. Knight of Pentacles, maybe Virgo, yes. So definitely this person is really calculative. This person is really reserved. This person is really self-centered. This person is hermit, introverted. You know, they, they, they're very choosy. They're very picky who to allow in their life. Maybe, you know, younger than you also because we have the Princess of Wands here. So maybe this person is younger than you are. They, give, they felt like, you feel like this person is immature in some ways, like they have to learn the lessons or they have to grow up. With the temperance here, I feel here, uh, this person wants to reconcile or want to talk to be, with you with the princess of wands. 
if you know this person this is maybe a reunion for others of you this is like this person is ready to be with you right now they're trying to balance and they're trying to get some balance in their life maybe they were not ready before for some reason but now they may be already thinking about it planning like okay let's see if we will be together let's see if you, if i will date this person let's see if i will be with this person you know they're thinking about it still thinking this is that person the magician is like you know very attractive very charming you know when there is all the girls like say oh look at that cute boy look at this handsome girl handsome boy and look at this beautiful girl this is that type of energy if she's a female she's like a lot of you know suitors or if this is a guy oh my god there's a lot of people around this person but this person is introverted this person is like a mystery or very secretive you don't know if this person is dating or not until this person will not tell you they're dating or not okay so we have the justice reverse here so i feel that there's some type of injustice here or some unfinished business with this person this is definitely someone from your past like this is not a ex i would not say ex because this is like you never dated with this person you never dated like you you did not this relationship was not grounded never it was just maybe a fling a flirt this was just a friendship and you wanted to some do something more this was just a try i would say this was a try a wanna be a lovers a wanna be <clears throat> you know relationships that type of thing but it's not it's not happened you know for some reason unfortunately at that time but now this person is planning and thinking about it you know princes of wands maybe you will expect a message you can expect a message from this person very soon uh, temperance being patience maybe so maybe this person will make a move towards you in a virgo season because virgo is very prominent here yeah they will talk to you this is a mercury so this person is very youthful very talkative uh, only with those people when you know when they're around with very picky very choosy very selective reserved introverted i see here from this person's side so maybe this person is italian european i'm also seeing british um from this person yeah very white very white there's no uh there's no judgment here on any ethnicity i'm just picking up okay i'm just giving you the information to see if this person is this person has a fair skin fair color if, even though if she's a girl she's a she has a fair skin mostly because i'm talking about me picking up mostly okay some of you this person is from egypt or maybe um Let's see the feelings of this person emotions. Resentful. Yeah. Look at this this person energy. Yeah, this person was like, "Why why you want to be with me?" Maybe this person is like very popular guy or popular girl type of energy. So they're really proud, like they can choose and pick anyone. Ashamed and you feel ashamed by rejection of this person or you know or maybe this person is trapped yeah this is a con very confusing and complex and complicated type of connection whoever this is embarrassed oh my god desperate so look at this all this person energy embarrassed ashamed maybe this person has intimate issues like can't be you know do some sex here or something like that oh boy a girl or maybe this is embarrassed and ashamed for you know being judged by the body or maybe you felt like this person will not like you you're not the type of this person but it's not it's a trap here this person feel trapped they're, they they're not sure about it that what they feel about you you understand me this is that type of person so when this person is not sure about it how they feel for you how you will know it this person likes you or not even though this person is in love they really want to be with you they really want to talk to you but they're not making a move they're just thinking planning you know maybe trying to get you you know like you come towards them as other people are coming so resentful like yes they're saying no you have to come because i am a princess i'm a prince that type of energy i'm picking up here no judgment just picking up from this person energy like they feel like they have you have to come towards them embarrassed because they feel like they feel embarrassed because the people's always come towards them people always appreciate them but you're not doing that right you're the different you're not doing that you're not 
you know, going towards this person and they're feeling trapped, like you really like them or not. And maybe they feel trapped that maybe you moved on. So they have a fear of rejection. Maybe they feel like you will, they will be embarrassed. Like they will, people will say, oh my God, the popular guy and girl got rejected. So this is that, this person is stuck in their own mind. They're making the, you know, scenarios in their own minds, even though they're not making a move here. We have a shame. There's something that this person is feeling ashamed. They, they know that. Or maybe they got rejected in the past. That's why they feel like you will reject them too. There's something that maybe this person, I don't know why this is really, this is really uh, for some, for a few of you. I feel that only one point person or maybe 0.1 percent people will resonate with this maybe this person was uh, abusive as a child you know child abused or something like that so this that's why they're ashamed embarrassed that they don't deserve love they don't want to be with love that's why they're just you put this mask on this and themselves like they're single and they don't want to be they're reserved they're introverted they're trapped in their own ways but they have to get out of this energy so they're resentful they're like no you need to come i don't need it i don't need it but they want it right so this is what I'm picking up here. Let's see um, the next move towards you. If this person will ever make a move. What this person will move towards you. The people who choose. Four of Wands reverse here. And we have the, the, the Knight of Cups. Look, I told you this person has romantic feelings for you. Four of Wands reverse. And King of Wands. So maybe it's difference between you and this person as I told you already. So King of Wands. So this person is definitely... Um, will come towards you for a date knight of cups will ask you out for a date this person has this romantic feelings and desire to be with you with the king of wands okay but if you're looking for something serious i feel this person will take it time to think about it four of wands reverse maybe you saw this person as your soulmate or twin or maybe this was not okay um this is not a happy reunion with this person so their their move towards you is like maybe they're they're married or they got married in the past, maybe they're just separated, the divorce, maybe that's why they're taking, they're reserved to, towards you. Or maybe they got separated from someone, okay, and they, they feel ashamed because their relationship was not worked out. So they blame themselves. There's something that they, this self-pity is here about themselves, even though they don't show it, but there's that definitely some self-low esteem here. Like they don't believe it that they deserve love or they want to be in love. They're working hard for their money, pentacles, and everything all, but not love. So Knight of Wands, a King of Wands, yes. Um, this person is really attractive. You know, in the college and universities and, and the schools, um, there's a one guy that everyone, every girl wants to be with. This is that type of energy I'm picking up here. Or every girl, there is, every guy want to be with her, you know, want to date her. But... If we go towards them and you don't know the real truth about them they show the world that they're fine they're happy they're they're very good but they're putting the mask on this because when they go on when they're alone they know that what what is their problems what are the blockages so this is that, that energy i'm picking up here so we have the sun here leo yes so leo we have cancer crab here uh, yeah, this person will open up to you. We have Q. We have H. HQ, maybe. HQ or QH. We have, maybe this person is a photographer. We have camera. Or maybe um, uh, this person is very popular on Instagram or social media or something. You, you know, very like followers, pictures. This person has a very beautiful pictures, maybe. <clears throat> we have uh, this ambulance here. So maybe this person is a doctor. You are a doctor, nurse something like that medicine field we have the you know mic here so maybe a musician singer we have king of heart here yeah this person is an artist this person is an art popular in public eye there's something that this person do for you know getting attention let's fly so yeah this person far from you i just want to fly, fly with you patience yeah i feel that it's a patience required here with this person i need i need you to fix me yeah, this person has definitely some issues here. It is so stuck. Yeah. Scenarios. Scenarios. This person make the scenarios, I feel, here. Worst scenarios. We have I believe. Yeah, this person need to believe on themselves and you too, on this connection too. We have some days soon things are going to start working out. Yeah, this person has believed that one day this will be finished. Are they, this Like this person is hopeful that one day you will be together. 
or you will even talk to each other or you will this person could be spying on your social media i feel here seeing your pictures and really liking it yeah this person is really dreamy also okay they are not telling you but they like you and they're they're really confused about their feelings okay maybe they never experienced this type of love you know this is definitely something different with you okay so that's your reading give the thumbs up subscribe my channel i will see you in the next video bye hello group number four deck number four the people who choose this romantic tarot deck let's see who is in love with you this person love roses or this person sees you as a rose maybe this person name is a rose there's something related with the rose here or maybe nature you know maybe this person is an adventurous yes i'm seeing fire sign aries leo sagittarius i'm picking up here very very strong fire aries leo sagittarius sun moon rising venus any planets let's see who is this person let's ask first who is this person and what type of connection you have with this person if you know this person or interaction and then i will pick up okay we have the knight of swords so this person could be in military i'm seeing here the uniform any anything related with the uniform but especially police department or army military you know officer and somehow yeah we have the justice reverse here yeah definitely lawyer judge um maybe you know authority we have ace of swords reverse here we have nine of swords reverse here too maybe libra a lot of air here. Look at this all air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have King of Cups, Reverse. We have Death. So maybe Scorpio. Very prominent here. You could have an age difference. Maybe same gender sex for some of you. Chariot, Cancer. So let's see. Who is this person? Okay. It's already come up. Leo. Okay. So I feel... So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Libra, Pisces energy, and we also have um, water, air, a lot of air, a lot of air and water. And we have this all major arcana. So let me see this major arcana. Um, yes. So I'm picking up two stories here. Let me tell you. One is that you know this person. You are in separation with this person but it's not over yet you really want to be with this person or this person really want to be with you they're not moved on they they're still stuck on you there is some unfinished business between you and this person with the death and with the justice here or maybe some of you this could be uh, that your your husband um you know your divine masculine or you can say that um that you're living separately you're not together definitely you're separated you're not living together. There is some unfinished business here. Like this is like you're living together. You're not living together. You're not divorced, but you're separated. Understand me? Yes. Um, for others of you, this is um, also picking up. Um, if you're single, you're not married, obviously. Uh, this is for the, that person who you have some unfinished business with from the past. Like you feel like you really want to. You still your soul is still you know attracted to this person. For some reasons it's not over yet you still have emotions for this person you can't you know release cut this person out from your life you can't you feel like it's not this is your divine masculine because you have the sun it's like this person you your soul really attract attached with this person so this could be a soul tie you know like some type of soul attachments are you soul mates yeah you are yin and yang because we have this energy here yin and yang energy with a chariot this is only the matter of time that you will be together or this person will talk to you because I feel that this is a temporary situation here, a temporary separation here. You will be together. This person, this person will make a move. This person really want to be with you. You don't, you want it or not. I don't know. We have the son because we are asking who is in love with you. The son, Leo. So look at this. This person really want to be with you. Look at this. I have to show you. Yeah, this person is like, hey, you're my everything. We are far apart. Let's come to me. So this is that type of energy here. This per I feel that you're separated. You're not in union. So this person really desperately want to be with you. This is that person wish, desire. That they want to be with you. 
there's some unfinished business it's not over yet if you feel like it's over it's done um the death and justice maybe this is a marriage um that you feel like um we are done we are not living together we will never be together but it's not legally you are still husband and wife you know you are, you are maybe separated but you're still husband and wife and this person is in, this person is in love with you and they can't leave you king of cups because they're still stuck on you king of cups reverse here so some of you this is um the person who is not opening up to you emotionally or never open up to you emotionally did not tell you how they feel scorpio some of you this is in and out type of connection with this person never grounded maybe that's why justice reverse here there's something that you feel and this person feel injustice this person feel like you have to come towards this person or you have to be in this person's life but you're not right you also feel like i feel that this is what your energy is maybe maybe you moved on you feel like i'm done i just cut this person out but no somehow you f your your soul also knows that there is something that that this person will be back your soul knows it your soul knows your intuitions are telling you but you may be trying to avoid it no 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 the chariot you're trying to move on maybe but this person is not this person is stuck in your mind maybe practically or maybe she was showing in reality in life like you're moving on maybe you change the location you're not living with this person anymore or you're not in the same place or same city or country you moved on but it's a sword you are here you still think about this person this person is in your mind you so for some i feel you 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 still did dream about this person or maybe you see this person in your dreams knight of swords um this person is coming or this person was really honest not honest about their feelings you saw this person is immature like not honest with you not being with you um you give this person your all you just put your heart in this but it's it's it did not happen so finally maybe you moved on you feel like no it's not over but this person is not feeling it this person really want to date you this person is coming back or want to come back to you this person want you back nine of swords reverse here so yeah maybe some of you there was a third party situation people were jealous or people just you know yeah there's something happened that you got separated for some reasons for others of you it's a third party but i feel for some of you this is like you just trying to move on or maybe you are in separation because you're saying i i i want to stop this i don't i don't want to think about this person anymore because i really want to move on i i will say it i will say it this person is also like i will say it what will happen in the future i feel that you both are so uh, healing right now you both let's see about this person's emotions for you what this person is feeling right now for you let's see from this emotions card this person's feelings for group number 4 let's see what this person is feeling for group number 4 yeah grief told you hopeless yeah you both are feeling like that it's over ashamed For some of you this person cheated on you and you just that's why you're not ready to forgive this person. For others of you this is like this person did not treat you well. Yeah. Yes. Yes, this person some of you this was in ways like some 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 of you your relationship was that like that that people was in in ways of you and they just put this spell or they just try to make a plan. to break you out your relationship they were jealous of your connection i would say yeah some of you this was a jealousy from other people's or family they don't like it they don't maybe they don't like you if you were married with this person they just tried you know to separate you other people's involvement here and they're ashamed now because they know it maybe they find out who who was plan who's this dirty plan was or you know who was behind this so they're ashamed that what they did you know for others of you this is like this person is now ashamed the way they treated you and they're they're definitely in ways of other people's jealous as you know or some of you this person was really possessive they were really controlling a dominant on you if you were married with this person so maybe you separated you say no i want my peace i want my space for those of you this is like um this person is really uh in ways when this person is seeing other people's relationships now they feel like that you can be together or maybe you're with someone else and they don't like it they're just really jealous they're ashamed
some of you this was a one-sided possessiveness like this person really wants you and they just broke your connection with your maybe they broke your marriage maybe they broke your relationship because this person was really really possessive about you they really want to get you and now they're really ashamed that what they did because you also not you moved on you don't you don't like this person or maybe this person find out but this person is in love with you maybe in a possessive way obsession addiction maybe this is wrong because this this person is also feeling hopeless like you you will never accept this person and they're grieving because they feel like you will never accept this is there's some type of grieved and ashamed here that they why they did this to to you surprise yeah and you got surprised maybe that this person gone through this extent you know to get you and to do this you know very shameful act you know to get you or something like that surprise for also some of you like you have kids or family with this person you know and this person really want to be with you this person feel like you don't love this person whoever this person is like they are really maybe they feel like you moved on you don't love this person back that's why this person is feeling this this is what their emotions are i'm picking up here their grief they're grieving over this connection they are ashamed the way they treated you because it's over now the time has passed you moved on are you not you may be with someone else or maybe this person broke your marriage or relationship and still they are hopeless that you can't be together or you will not choose this person they're definitely seeing maybe they're seeing you with anyone else and they don't like it they're jealous or maybe they have this uh, you know in their mind like you are dealing with someone or you have someone else surprised this person really want to give you a surprise the sun this person really want to be with you yeah this person maybe some of you this person will surprisingly come towards you you will not you're not expecting it but this person will let's see what is their action towards you then i will go towards your charm let's see what if this person will make a move and what are their moves the judgment reverse yeah their resistance here this is a resistance here this person is not listening to their intuition their soul calling scorpio maybe said curious five of cups reverse yeah they, maybe there's other involvement here the other people's involvement here for some of you this person definitely you know look at this treated you bad or cheated on you and you find out maybe let's do two card came up wow look at this nine of pentacles reverse and we also have the hangman reverse yeah it's a matter of a time this person feel like it's over is if this person feel like you are done with this person you're not even waiting for this person hanging there this person is really really impatient to be with you but he don't know how he or she don't know how nine of pentacles reverse here maybe this person is not single with anyone else or maybe this person is definitely not independent right now financially not secure and this person feel like you will reject this person Okay, there's a lot we have music guitar so this person could be um, a musician play guitar you know or maybe play guitar for you or something like that or maybe you, you get the classes music classes together we have one kiss oh my god this person is desperate I believe so this person really may be missing that kiss if you had or not maybe this person really want to kiss you we have our um, we have this money coin so this person definitely have money or working hard for money because nine of pentacles you are here that is the blockage here we have the fish pisces maybe our fish is always talk about new beginning hopeful believe that's what it is this person believe and hopeful for the future abundance maybe love me this person really desperately want you to love this person not me this person okay <laughs> love me look at this love me this person want to taste you i'm hearing I don't know what the taste is. Look at this. This person is already dreaming about to kiss you. I'll lick you. Ah, oh, 18 plus. Okay. So yeah, we have this uh, 90s nerd. So maybe this person born in 90s. Or maybe you are. We are police. So there's something happened with the police or this person is in place. Look at this. We have forever, ever. So maybe your past life lovers. This is uh, definitely, this person sees you as like you are ultimate for this person. Ulti made partner for this person pizza 
um, music again. Wow, we have apple here. So definitely this person is positive. Look at this, all you need is love, cats. So maybe this person has a cat or you. Yeah, this person sees you as a couple. Like this person sees like you are the one for this person. Um, we have eight of cups, yeah. This person is grieving over it. Eight of cups, you moved on maybe. You're not with this person anymore. Or maybe they left you for some reasons. You know, we have this mustache. So maybe this person has mustache or something like that. Or they have this, uh, you know, tattoo on this. I'm also seeing this like a horns here. So maybe this person is Taurus or Aries. Let me get some more here because I want to say that what's happening here. Okay, so we have Neptune, Pisces. So yeah, this person is seeing in your dreams, fantasizing about your pictures, social media. We have the moon here. Again, deception. Yeah, there's a lot of secrets here from this person. Look at this skull here. So yeah, I, I goose, this, some of you, this person ghosted you. They just ghosted you. Yes. Joker. Yeah, they feel Joker now. They put the mask on themselves or they want a new beginning with you. We have this tree here, family tree. So yeah, this person really wants something solid with you. Or maybe a family with you. Who knows? Because we have the leaf here. You know. Um, we also have the Caesar here. So you cut this person out. Music again. So maybe this person is a musician, actor. We have this uh, fall leaf clover. This person really hopeful. There's like a good luck, abundance coming. I feel this person feel really abundant to be with you. Already. We have this leaf here. We have the two now apples here. So I told you, this person sees you as like you are the one. Look at this, all sy synchronicities here in this reading. Two apples, okay? So yeah. <laughs> so yes, this person sees you as the one. This is like a twin flame or soulmate. It's like this person is like you are made for each other. That's it, period. You're made for each other. You know, this person sees you like that. For some of you, I'm hearing apples, 18 plus, you understand me? They're like your apples. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but this came up in my mind, so I have to say it. Because this is like something, you know, like, yeah, maybe this person has this uh, naughty feelings, like, really. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, this is definitely for someone. Maybe they like your apples. Who knows, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> so give the thumbs up to this video. Subscribe my channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you all.